Hi, my name is Steve Kinsley. I'm the Chief Wackadoo at Wackadoo Information Systems. Today we're talking about the bulk emailer page. The bulk emailer allows you to send mail merge style content to the people within the database of your particular web application. It's as simple as selecting a report, selecting an email template, and clicking a button. Can't get much easier than that. The video that we're about to see was shot specifically for the Teacher Gifts web app. However, except for the actual reports themselves and the email templates themselves, everything that we talk about is equally applicable to the bulk emailer page for every application. So if you will allow us a quick splice, let's get started. So now we go to the bulk emailer page and what we're going to do is we're going to click on an available email report that we've got and we've got some email templates. Well, okay, we're back down to this custom templates thing. So before we talk about that, let's talk about the templates for email or for reports and for the email itself. Let's come down here to custom templates. And we're going to look at our report templates. And I've got a handful of custom reports that we did for the PSF. Some of them are email, some of them are not. The gift details are for all of your teachers and the gift details for a selected teacher only appears when, you've, when you wanna send out a, this bulk report to a single teacher. And I'll, we'll walk through that in a moment. What a report looks like, it's literally just a database select statement. If you don't, you don't have to care about this. This is something that you would contact us, we would give you support on um, to, to update this or to tune it, but we see that what we're looking at are gift types of rows or breakfast. This is the only place in the system where it really matters what your different gifts are and things like that. Then I'm gonna look down and say, let's look at our email templates. Now the email templates, I'm, I'm not going to jump into this PSF one because it's got some proprietary information. I'll give you the default one and show you what that looks like. Basically what this is, is a little HTML template that allows you to do a mail merge kind of thing just by putting in the field names with little squiggly brackets around them. And then there's a special format for doing this particular kind of table and then the account contact information is, is the head of your organization. Uh, in this case, the director of the PSF has her information going in there. So what this lets you do, and there's a whole nother video about email templates, but I'm gonna bounce you in so that you can see what this looks like in HTML, because this is something that you can do um, if you have someone who has some expertise can help you go do this. So there is a very specialized HTML tag. It's not an HTML tag. We made this up. This is only for wackadoo applications. We call it resource block. And this is the thing that tells us to put the table in. And each row in the table is going to have a gift date and a gift type and the gift name and the gift note. And you'll see what that, that, that fills in in just a moment. So I'm gonna to toggle back to my WYSIWYG. If I don't like the language here, uh, for, for I don't want to say for all you do, for everything you do. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to type everything you do. And I'm going to save that. And so now if I go back into my default in appreciation for everything you do. So you, and you can do this. I mean, you've got bolding, you've got colors, you've got, I mean, all of the stuff that you can do. You can put images in. Now, again, this is a low level HTML thing that you would do, but what you would be looking for is, where'd that image tag go? There it is. That's, an, that's a, an image tag you would put in the source for your image and things like that. And it would appear, you would be able to see that. It has to be a publicly available uh, image uh, for you to be able to do that. So I'm gonna cancel out of this. And I've already talked about report and import templates. Uh, I've already talked about email templates. We're back on the bulk emailer. Now, you'll notice that I have PSF gift details. This is the report that I want to run that, that was specific for that particular thing. I could just do the gift details, um, and that's a more generic version of it. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't go into some of the same detail. It's got a slightly different thing on it. So 
this PSF one, I've selected that. For the PSF, if I go out and I select a particular teacher, I'm going to put, put, uh, click on Violet, for example, and I come back to the bulk emailer, you see that I've got another choice available. Now, this is going to be just for that one teacher. Now, that teacher doesn't have any gifts assigned to them. So let's go find somebody who does. And I'm looking for a teacher. We're looking for Caroline Schultz. She's got a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to look for Caroline. Whoops, not Carolina. Caroline Schultz. And I'll click on her. And now I'll go back to bulk emailer and I will click on the, if I do PSF gift details, that's everybody. If I scroll down, you'll see that I got a whole bunch of them. If I just do the selected teacher, that's a much shorter list. These are just the ones that are going to Caroline Schultz. So this is a way that you could go out and you could work on just a single teacher if you wanted to send just out one send out one notice. Now, you can't send an email yet until you select your template. So if I select my default gift notice template, again, that's going to be something that uh, if you were actually doing it, you'd use your PSF one. If you're the PSF, you would use whichever custom email template you wanted to use. Now you've got two mechanisms here. You've got the ability to send a test email to yourself or to anybody else if you want to take a look and see what this email is going to look like. Or you can click this and it will send the bulk email. It will cycle through all of these report results and send all of your emails out. This is here so that you can see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to myself. And I'm going to see what this email looks like. OK, now you notice that I've got a bunch of different gifts from a bunch of different. For a bunch of different kids. And I'm going to send that out. And this is going to give you the ability to set the subject for this. This is an automated message from fictional charity. Well, that's not what I want to do. So what I want to do is I want to say, this is my uh, fundraiser gift report. Uh, gifts for you from the fundraiser and let's just be fun and make it all word capped. Okay, there we go. Now, this talks a little bit about how you do your field names and things like that. But that again is a separate email on uh, a separate video on email templates. And it's going to send that test email out. And I had a success and I had zero failures. Great. That worked just fine. Now I'm going to go out and I'm going to look at my email. Now we're going to probably see a whole bunch of email here. Uh, I've got some troubleshooting. I've got some other things going on. And I'm waiting for that email to come in. And there it is. Gift for you from the fundraiser. Okay. And so you see over here, I've got this table of gifts that came in. There's a footer that's automatically applied telling people that, yes, this is a valid email. Um, my account information is not completely filled in. That's why those fields were not properly set uh, because this is my test fictional account. But hello, Caroline Schultz, appreciation for everything that you do. That was the change that we made earlier. Okay. You get the idea here. So that's the purpose of this whole, whole thing. Now, had email failed, one of two things is going to happen. You're going to get the bounce in your uh, in your personal uh, inbox, the one that's set up for your account that this is sent by, or you're going to see that on the email errors page um, as uh, the web bounces the, them back here. It depends upon the kind of failure and things like that. Please pardon that harsh video splice. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know about the bulk emailer page. Simple operation, select a report, select an email template, click a button, and you have a test button so that you can verify what that email is going to look like before you send out the bulk email. If you have any questions about working with reports and report templates, there is another video that covers that in detail, just as there's another video that covers working with email templates in detail. However, this sort of ties all of that together so you can see how the three work in harmony. 
Thank you for watching this video on the Bulk Emailer page. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us as shown on the Contact Us page at wackadoo.info or wackadoo.org. Thank you.